Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. Every week we have a vote in Patreon for a genre of video to come out on the channel, and this time around, Video Game Original Soundtrack 1. And I also had some recommendations to do Genshin again, and uh, actually a two-part a two part video, so we're going to do that because I like the previous Genshin videos so much. This is Ode to Azdaha. I'm excited to hear this. Let's go. Type in the comments which composer this sounds like right now. Three, two, one, go. The answer is, at least to me, Stravinsky. Oh my God, this beginning, those horns, and then those evil ass harmonies that came in. And I don't know what was going on with the, uh, I don't know, the clarinets, the woodwinds there. That was super. I just, sorry, I got to go back. I got to go back. There's too much epic stuff going on. What a uh, dramatic uh, use of rhythm in the beginning. Got, my ears are blasting out. I have to turn up super loud on my end. Your volume is all the same, but I edit mine. <laughs> that, that is, uh, man, that is epic. We have a really, really good use of baga, diga, those that are uh, kind of repeating a little groove there. Well, it's not a groove. Repeating stabs there. Uh, man, just really, really. Uh, the reason I said Stravinsky is just a little bit that kind of reminded me of our Ride of Spring in the beginning. It's just so heavy. That is just so heavy. And it sounds like we go into an orchestral equi equivalent of a blast beat here. <laughs> let's, so let's uh, rewind. That was an amazing intro. If your attention wasn't at 100, it, it, it has to be after that. That's great writing. <laughs> Wow. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, super. I actually, I sang the interval wrong. Uh, very, very evil sounding. Love it all. Every aspect of that. Uh, what language are we singing in? Doesn't matter. The diction, uh, diction basically means the cleanliness of the articulations via what's being sung. Uh, there's some really, really intense stuff happening there. It's super, super clean and precise. I'm I went back 15 seconds here. She That accent was like, but uh, we like jump up so high and come back down. Also, great use of concert bass drum, by the way. We got to give a shout out to that great crescendo. That's cool. Good lord, man. What is happening? This is such good music. What the fuck is Genshin? This is ridiculous in a good way, though. Um, so the biggest thing is this ostinato. It's kind of a motif like this ba 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 ba. We had a very, very long version of it, a lot of quarter notes, a couple of eighth notes in the beginning. Now we're getting it more like one, two, and three. We have multiple dynamics, different volume levels happening, and then we get multiple orchestration uses, basically stacking a lot more instruments on top of each other. But then this ridiculous trombone and low brass, da, 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 this triplet figure that came out of nowhere. 
Uh, this is a great one. We're only a minute 20 in. It's only three, three minutes long, but holy crap, it's good. I went back 15 seconds here. <laughs> Sorry, we're the butter, butter, and then that whatever chord that is, that is such a stacked, cluster filled chord. I, I would not be able to identify uh, the quality of that in like mixed intervals, but um, one, I need to get it again. I'll let it go this time. It's just. On your own time, go back and listen to. Obviously, the the dominant is the bum 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 bum. We get from the vocal line. It's being echoed in the brass underneath. Then you have that trombone thing or the low other the remaining low brass players that are playing that do, 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 the triplet bass arpeggio. Underneath all of that is a cool little string melody that came in. That's like half the dynamic, and uh, just was like super smooth and barely detectable. That was uh, really fun. All right, back five. Let's keep going. This is really good writing. <laughs> Obviously, we got our obligatory. Everyone joins in now. So, uh, shout out to the percussion, though. So, really good timpani playing going on. And uh, we finally heard some concert snare drum there. And I already made my comment about the uh, the nice use and control of the concert bass drum. So, that's kind of cool. Because remember, those people are sitting back there counting rests for days. That's one part of, like, percussion I don't miss. I, I played so much symphonic setting, setting uh, material. And, like, you know, it's not that fun to count 100 bars of rest. No, there's not 100 bars not gone by in this piece. But you get the point, though. Like, at least they get to jump in and play some sweet stuff in this one. All right, back five. Let's keep going. <laughs> Ba -ba -da -ba -da, and cool descending line there. Now, I gotta say, you might you might have picked it up, but the percussion is also playing the bump, 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 bump figure underneath all that. It was happening as well. You could hear it in the big uh, bass drum um, compression hits. Basically, this is very cool. So basically, what you're taking, you're taking a, like a um, a reoccurring rhythmic. Uh, it's like it's a motif, like you know, like it's something that represents probably a character. I don't know. Have not played the game. But uh, we'll call it like a clever use of an ostinato here, which an ostinato is a repeating rhythm. But we're basically spreading it around the group, around the, or uh, the orchestra. And uh, that's just, it's fun writing. So whoever had that in their mind, they were able to make that happen and just keep it in interesting the whole time. So very fun to listen to. We'll get to that. I was about to make a comment. I was like, this is really cool, but we are basically playing like Fortissimo the entire time, double Fs. And then suddenly we have a diminuendo leading our timpani backing us away. And then we get some light woodwinds here. So that's cool. But it is fun to play all badass and loud. Like, don't get me wrong. And it's very fun to listen to. But variety, after all, is a spice of life. And no, there's nothing like dynamic variety. All right, here we go.
Did you hear that? So one voice, one voice in the harmony has the drone. Bum, 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 bum. The other one, bum, 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 bum. I'm not singing that right, but uh, you can hear the the little uh, varieties in there. So let's go back and listen to that again. Sorry, not far enough. My my fault. And that was our ending. Wow, what a beautiful way to end that. So uh, I'm loving this. Just based off the music, I think we've done two pieces now. We're about to do three because I'm about to record the third one. But uh, uh, man, this is this is good stuff. L let me know what's going on. Is this a boss fight in the middle of the game? I don't even I don't even know what's happening. All I know is that this is some great music. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me when I'm live. We're so gonna talk about Genshin and other video game music. I just can't get over how good this was. Sorry, like my brain will not let it go. That was amazing music. Anyway, you can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below, as well as my Discord. If you like this video, you know what to do. Click that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. If you want to request music or support the channel, you can also check out my Patreon. All right, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye bye.